The letter Joseph Smith wrote while in Liberty Jail is perhaps his most famous letter. Excerpts have been canonized in the Doctrine and Covenants, but few have ever read the letter in its entirety, and thus many do not realize that it also contains further words of advice and inspiration that are well worth study, reflection, and consideration. What specifically motivated Joseph to write this profound letter after five months of horrific confinement in prison? Some of his reasons for writing are obvious and well known. Other important reasons may be less apparent to those who have not read the entire letter in its historical context. Joseph was celebrating friendship, venting at Governor Boggs, rebuking the Danites, giving temporal instructions, and more. But above all, Joseph wrote to bear his personal testimony, especially of God, Jesus Christ, and the scriptures. More than any other time on record, he bore his pure and solemn testimony, assuring his people that God was still speaking to him and to them. He wrote, Hell may pour forth its rage like the burning lava of Mount Vesuvius, or of Etna, or of the most terrible of the burning mountains, and yet shall Mormonism stand. Water, fire, truth, and God are all realities. Truth is Mormonism. God is the author of it. He is our shield. It is by him we received our birth. It is by his voice that we were called to a dispensation of his gospel in the beginning of the fullness of times. It is by him that we received the Book of Mormon, and it is by him that we remain unto this day, and by him we shall remain, and if it shall be for our glory, and in his almighty name, we are determined to endure tribulation as good soldiers unto the end. He concluded this long letter by again testifying in the face of all adversity. We say that God is true, that the Constitution of the United States is true, that the Bible is true, that the Book of Mormon is true, that the Book of Doctrine and Covenants is true, that Christ is true, that the ministering angels sent forth from God are true, and we know that we have a house not made with hands, eternal in the heavens, whose builder and maker is God. And now you know why.